Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, and I'm going to be Bible journaling in Hebrews chapter 13. Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise, the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. And do not forget to do good and to share with others, for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. And the sacrifice of praise kept coming to me lately, and I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But I decided to study the whole chapter and while I was doing that, I decided I was going to highlight these other verses right here because I really need to hear them right now. Never will I leave you. Never will I forsake you. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? And the first chapter in my book or the first chapter with tutorials in my book talks about making patterns. And this is something that I do sometimes when I don't know what to draw. Sometimes there's no visual that pops up in your mind for something, but other times you're in a season like I am right now, and I feel like my radar is turned off right now. I'm just going through some stuff. Uh, one of the things right now is that my publisher of my books is in bankruptcy court. <laughs> and at the time of this filming, I still don't know what's going to happen. They tell me that my contract will be bought by somebody else and the books will continue to go. And I'm not so worried about the money because I've always planned on giving away the money. I didn't really want to feel like I was selling a book on God and trying to make anything for myself. So I committed to the Lord that this is all going to be given to ministry. However, I still kind of want to have the books out there. So I've been told that the contract will be bought by somebody and it's going to continue, but I don't know anything yet. And I keep reading legal documents and I don't understand any of it. And I feel really lost. And even though I know it's going to be fine, there's something in me that still struggles with it. And I still feel like I'm, I'm stuck in limbo land about that. And add on top of it that my senior pastor announced recently that he is leaving our church. He's retiring and he's retiring to write books and there's all kinds of good things and it's a good time for him. And I, I'm still going to be connected with them, which is really great because his wife, my pastor's wife, has been wanting to get into Bible journaling, but she hasn't had time. And now that they're going to be retired, I saw her when I was walking up to the church the other day and got to hug her and she said, oh my goodness, we have to get together and do Bible journaling. I finally have time to work in your books and I have all these friends who want to do it. So I know that that's all going to be okay, but it's still change. It's still, you know, there's just stuff happening and we all have those times in our lives when stuff happens. And I have fallen out of the practice of Bible journaling, except for these videos and you know, thank God for the, the pressure of putting together my Sunday videos each week. Or I don't know if I'd be Bible journaling at all right now because I'm just in this weird state. I have been studying, so I've been in the Word. I just don't feel like doing the art part of it right now. And I, I want to. I just, I don't know. It's hard to explain. If you've been in that place, you know what I mean. But I'm going to continue doing my videos. I'm not going to let myself off the hook by just saying I'm in a bad head space. And one of the things that was in the verse after this, that it, it's in verse 17, it says, have confidence in your leaders and submit to their authority because they keep watch over you as those who must give an account. Do this so their work will be a joy, not a burden, for that would be of no benefit to you. And so that was like an added encouragement in the midst of all this, because I didn't know that verse was going to be in the middle of that chapter. But the sacrifice of praise is, is what's been on my heart. And perhaps the whole transition in the church is going to be a sacrifice of praise. And years and years and years ago, I heard a sermon by a pastor who talked about the, the praises we give God in the hard times, in the times when we don't want to give him praise because things are not going our way. Those are the times we're giving him the sacrifice of praise. And that's what he truly loves because that's giving praise when we don't feel like it. That's giving praise when he warrants it, but we don't feel like doing it. 
But we do it anyway because we know he's faithful. We know he's going to come through for us. And we know it's all going to be okay. So we, we can praise him in the confusing times, in the, the times where we don't understand what's happening, where things are changing, what's coming next. We can still give him that praise. And that's kind of where I feel like I am. I'm in that, that sacrificial praise portion of my life right now. And I don't know how long it will last. Hopefully it will be a short season in this strange wilderness. These videos and having to do them each week will keep me focused on at least doing some Bible journaling and not just my study, but sharing because the verse also says, the verse, part of the verse I highlighted, do not forget to do good and share with others for with such sacrifices, God is pleased. So I felt a little weird about the Bible Journaling Facebook group, too. And to all of you who are in it and keep sharing, I am so grateful for you. You guys keep the group going when I feel like I'm not doing my part. I'm not carrying my weight. I'm kind of commenting. I hit the like button, but I just don't even feel... I. Yeah, I'm just in a weird place. But the fact that you guys are still there in the group, you're still sharing, you're still creating and being inspired, inspiring each other, sharing your work, sharing about God and telling your testimonies of his faithfulness. That just means the world to me to know that the group is going, even though I'm in my weird, <laughs> weird place. And I'm grateful. I'm, I'm thankful for all of you. So since I didn't know what to do, I went to that really easy lesson. I just drew some lines and I made them even uneven. I didn't actually worry about making them all the same size and just colored them with pastel colors of colored pencils. And then I'll write my text on here and the full text of what I'm going to put on here, at, you'll watch me write parts of it in different order. But Lord, I make my sacrifice of praise. When all else seems to be in flux, when the world around me seems to be shifting under my feet, still I praise you for you are faithful when this world is not. And it really is so true that he is the one who's faithful even when everything else is falling apart. And the things that I'm going through are not even bad things. They're not even what some people go through on a regular basis. I see people post about family members sick and dying and themselves in, in states of poor health. And I have my health. I have my work. I have plenty to keep me joyful. And yet we still fall into that hole sometimes. And I'm just, yeah, that's where I am. I'm making the sacrifice of praise right now. <laughs> And I encourage all of you who are especially in the Facebook group, or if you're not there already, continue sharing, continue lifting each other up, and let's move forward. And I'm going to try to get back to doing more Bible journaling than just on my Sunday videos. So thanks so much for listening to me whine, and I will talk to you guys next week in another video. Have a really wonderful week, and be blessed. Bye-bye.